Many people go to an art museum or to an art exhibit expecting an artist to be making a clear and concise statement as if they're writing a book or making a poster. But I believe great art asks questions and great design answers questions. I think all art is political. I think that's a mistake that we make just because it doesn't look political, that it isn't political. The role of art is to actually challenge us to think differently about who we are and our role in our society. And if the questions are too easy, the answers are too easy. So my next exhibition is called What We Ask is Simple. And it is primarily focused on 20th century protest movements. I wanted to find ways to present historical photographs, but in a way that makes them feel fresh and new. As you move around the work, it changes. Depending on where the camera angle is, I uh, might be seeing a gold and black image. You can take a flash photograph and see it as a positive image. It is never easily attainable. We're so used to pictures that we can just look at and then swipe past them. What I've really been interested in is how ordinary people make a great change in their society by just coming together that make as much significant change in societies as the people who kind of get all of the credit. series called Branded where I was looking at the way black bodies were branded in advertising. In the NCAA we know they're actually working for free for a multi-billion dollar industry. We're the first or the second generation to have pretty much their entire existence shaped by corporate agenda. I think there's great progress that we can see in ads, but there's also uh, a level of, of brainwashing. We wanted to create a platform uh, that was engaging and allowed people to share the truth from their own perspective. So people go in to the truth booth and record themselves stating really personal uh, things starting with the truth is and it's kind of a space for public vulnerability. The truth is that I'm hurting. The truth is children of incarcerated parents are seven times more likely to become incarcerated themselves. The truth is I miss my dad. We've had over 10,000 people go inside the booth. All of my analysis has brought me back to something that I was taught at a very young age. Uh, you can't judge a book by its cover. I wanted to make a larger than life Afro pick to talk about the long political history and the actual tradition of black hair care. I love how many people can look at the same piece and take different things from it, which is really everything that my work is about. My cousin was murdered in 2000, and my process of trying to come to terms with it, what I've really struggled to come to terms with is that since my aunt lost her son 18 years ago, not much has changed in the discourse. As an artist, you're not making work thinking what other people are going to think. You're just thinking like, how do I feel? Frankly, I don't ever feel comfortable with it. I always feel uncomfortable with it. And that is part of the process of showing work. I'm just trying to survive and trying to encourage myself and our society to think about our survival. We're never going to have arrived at a moment where everyone can put their feet up. The road to progress is always under construction. Thanks for watching The Root. We hope you enjoyed this video and we'll continue to bring you more that's of interest to you. So leave a comment and make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Positive comments only. No trolls.